That's good milk. I need those. We need this. We need that. Got the pumpkin. We give our pigs pretty much everything. Uh, everything besides pork and potatoes for the most part. We also give them just a little bit of grain. And then in the fall, they get tons of pumpkins and like the innards of the pumpkins when we carve them. You get a pumpkin. And you get a pumpkin. Everybody gets a pumpkin. If you haven't seen in any of the past videos, we have this pretty epic clothesline. It's pretty sweet. We haven't used it very much, but it's kind of fun. Man, you guys are getting big. Morning fried chicken. Or baked if you liked it baked. Still haven't fixed that door. It's pretty funny, I lay all the grain down for the chickens and immediately they go for the grass. They don't want anything to do with the grain. There may be one chicken that's interested in the grain, but the rest of them, they're over there foraging for all the bugs, getting all the greens they can. It's wonderful. must be missing. Gotta turn this thing around. Morning scrambled eggs. Or fried egg if you like it fried. And our egg layers too, they only care about the greens and the bugs. They don't care about the grain. 
We're expecting eggs from them any day now. That'll be exciting. It's always a long journey, long five, six month journey till you get your first egg. Hey, sweetie. Woo, my ears are cold. You gotta shake it up. Shake it up. We're gonna need that this time. This must be what it feels like to be a mom, obviously without any of the labor or the pain. This guy goes through a bottle within like 30 seconds. Yeah, that's a buddy. Not too sure if there's anything better in life than taking care of animals, having a homestead, living in the in the middle of nowhere next to a bunch of Amish. I'm super excited. We have somebody working on our logo uh, for the homestead, like for YouTube and Facebook, but also for like a business standpoint. Um, we, we have a lot of plans for the homestead. One of the things we wanna do is we wanna raise A2 Jersey milk cows, uh, train them to be family milk cows, you know, very well with hand milking. They can be, they're halter trained, they're good at leading, um, and then eventually sell those. When we were searching for our Jersey milk cow, we had a heck of a time trying to find one. Everything that we could find was only a nurse cow. They weren't actually experienced with being hand milked. And honestly, nurse cows, in my opinion, don't seem to be taken care of very well, uh, like tested for mastitis and things like that as often. So we wanted to start raising A2 Jersey milk cows. Um, so over the weekend, we actually purchased two more cows. Well, about 15 days ago, we tested Rosie to see if she was A2. Um, if you don't know what that is, there's A A1 and A2 proteins in milk, and most of the milk, uh, just in the normal jugs that you buy, is A1 milk for the most part. That's not to say that there's not A2 milk in there, uh, or A2 proteins in there, but most of the milk is A1 nowadays. Um, Pretty much every cow used to be A2, but we kind of bred out that protein, I guess, uh, from you know the dairy industry. There's a lot of studies that have shown that A1 milk isn't very good for you. Um, it's not very digestible, so it goes into, I guess, the small intestine, 
um, and, and you digest it differently than you would A2 proteins. Um, in my experience, I had a lot of problems with drinking A1 milk. Uh, I would get really sick to my stomach. I would have cramps and um, it just, it, it was not very fun. So um, I stopped drinking milk actually. And I had gone to oat milk, which I think is absolutely disgusting, but like I love my cereal. And so I had to have something and oat milk was, was good enough to do that. And then uh, my grandmother actually, um, had been drinking A2 milk for the longest time. And uh, she told me to just have a glass of it. And it, you know, she had kind of the same problems I had. So I started drinking it. And ever since then, I've never had any problems with, um, with dairy. Um, so if you do have issues with milk, I would strongly recommend A2 milk. If, you're if you like enjoy milk itself, then I would definitely try the A2 milk. Um, I be you know for the for most people you will have success. Uh, now, if you're like severely lactose intolerant, you're still gonna probably have that problem. But if you just get cramps and and kind of feel upset stomach like I did, you're you're gonna be you're, you're probably gonna have really good luck with the A2 milk. So um, back to Rosie, we actually tested her to see if she was A2. This is gonna be our dairy milk cow. And yeah, we're gonna be drinking raw milk from her. And uh, if we're gonna go through all that work, we wanted to make sure that she was actually, uh, you know, she actually had the milk proteins that I could digest. Um, and it came back and she is A2, A2, which is awesome. Uh, which means that we will be breeding her with another A2, A2 Jersey bull at some point to, to, to make A2, A2 offspring. Um, and like I was saying earlier in the video, we hopefully, we, we really want to bring a market to uh, Northern Kentucky that isn't there right now. And that's uh, Jersey, uh, A2 Jersey milk cows that are very well handled, halter trained, uh, you can lead them, uh, you know, they'll go into a milk stanchion really easily. That's kind of, that's kind of our goal on the farm in the future. Um, obviously that takes time. It, you know, you got to raise the calves. You got to you got to train the milk cows. But Rosie here, she is gentle as can be, especially when she's eating her alfalfa snack. So this is our Jersey bull we picked up on Tuesday, and he uh, he is very pretty. He's got some white in him. He looks he looks gorgeous. So he's an intact bull. So we'll actually be able to breed him with Rosie. Uh, we won't be able to breed him with our other Jersey who we actually named Maple. I'll show her in a second. She's very pretty as well. So we're going to get him tested uh, for A2 to see if he has that uh, DNA as well, that protein. Um, and if he's A2A2, then we will have 100% uh, A2A2 genetics, you know, for the entirety of our breeding between those two cows right there. So this is Maple on the right. And of course, Rosie's coming in to get the rest of the feed and probably gonna kick them out. But Maple is just a beautiful calf. They're a little skittish, so they're not, they're not used to me yet. I'm extremely excited to learn new things on the homestead, things we weren't able to do on like a third of an acre in Washington. Uh, having 
milk cows is definitely a new adventure that I don't really know a whole lot about. Um, but I'm learning every single day and I think, you know, that's kind of how you do it sometimes. You just throw yourself into it and learn from your mistakes, uh, do the best you can. And uh, yeah, we're super excited for this new adventure. Um, Springtime is going to be really exciting for us. So can't wait to be making videos then because we're going to we're going to have a calf that's being born. We're going to have piglets that are being born. Uh, you know, we're going to be starting our garden. We're going to be planting a bunch of uh, fruit trees, a bunch of uh, raspberries and blackberries. And uh, it'll be a real exciting time. See, Rosie is a, Rosie is a great cow. Followed me all the way down to the end of the field. She thinks I've got more alfalfa for her. Come on. Come on. We've got some trees to transplant today. Ashton and I went around yesterday on her day off. Well, actually it was her birthday yesterday. Uh, but Ashton and I went around and we marked a bunch of the trees that we want to transplant. We have a, uh, we have a long-term goal for the property to put a ton of trees through all the pastures and everything. Uh, it'll give shade to a lot of the animals, but it'll also, uh, I don't know if you can tell, like look how green the grass is right here and look how dry the grass is over here. It, and it's because these trees are blocking some of the sun part of the day and it just provides some, some shade, keeps the moisture in. And uh, so today, probably gonna plant one about right there. We wanna plant a bunch up this road, up to our shop there. And then we wanna plant a bunch over this way as well. Um, I'll probably only be able to get like one or two done today. Um, but, and then long-term, we have these pastures over here we have a pasture in the front as well, which you probably haven't seen very much of, but uh, we do have a pasture over there. But we want to plant tons of trees, probably 20 to 50 trees in each one of these pastures and uh, really make it something cool to see. Well, here's one of the first trees we want to transplant. This one right here. This one's beautiful. I've never transplanted a tree before, but <laughs> we're just gonna give it a shot. I've watched a ton of videos and we really can't wait any longer. The ground's gonna freeze in a couple weeks, I'm sure. So uh, yeah, we just need to get it done. So let's go get the tractor and get all the supplies ready.
That was a little scary. I'm trying to maneuver through all these little trees with that tractor. Yeah, uh, this is my first time transplanting a tree. This is a lot of work and I am not very confident, but I don't know. If you ever see anything in these videos and I'm just totally butchering it, absolutely put it in the comments. I would love to get feedback, better ways to do things. Ugh, that was a lot of work. We got a nice layer of compost on it. I think it's gonna be a beautiful tree. Now we gotta mulch it, keep the moisture in, keep all the grass from growing too close to it, and then we gotta water the heck out of it. water it. pretty good. Kind of hides us from the neighbor a little bit, which is nice. I don't know if you can see what we're trying to do here, but we're going to probably put one more there, one more there, maybe another on the other side of the little stream, another one there. Make it seem a little bit more secluded and not so open. Get a little bit of that forest feel right outside the house. It should be pretty nice. I thought I was gonna get two done today. One was absolutely difficult. I am exhausted after just that first one. I'm sure we'll be planning a bunch more this week, but for now, that's all I got for you. Thank you guys for tuning in again. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you later.